All right, car number two today. It'll be a two-part video. Or two separate videos. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But anyways, we have a EVP Pro R here, which is a 91 octane ECU flash. They're clutching and they're full exhaust, meaning they're header and muffler. I'm not gonna get into this because everyone's gonna get all worked up about it and all the blah, blah, blah. I'll do the same thing we're doing on the other car. I'm gonna go over everything, show you everything, mileage, temperature in the shop, setup, and blah, blah, blah. This car I'm not gonna remove from the dyno. We're gonna do the changes and then on the dyno, and we're never gonna unstrap it and then put it back together and then run it again. I'm gonna try to do it the same time of day, temperature and everything so everything as close as possible so that leads me to what we're gonna do again this has a full EVP header and muffler setup on it we're not gonna change the muffler we're not worried about that customers complaint um, is it lost power to put the header on it we've seen some independent testing online you guys can all look that up and see that for yourself or you have or whatever I want to know, customer wants to know, I'm, that's it. I'm going to keep this again as unbiased and transparent as possible. So we are going to run the car right now as is how the car came. And we're simply just going to swap to the OEM header, the brand new one off of our car. Again, not going to unstrap it and run it again on the dyno and see if there's any difference, whether it's a gain or a loss on either part. And then we'll show you guys, and you guys can make a decision based off of that if it's something you guys want to do or purchase or not. So let's go over the car. So EVP header, tail's been on there for a little bit. EVP muffler system with your burnt tips. It has 33 inch tensors on it, 91 octane, four seater. It is. Hundred and four in here and about thirteen percent humidity. So again twenty psi on the tires. Let's get in here and look at the mileage. Hold on, I gotta enter a code. Sixteen hundred and fifty seven miles. In race mode and uh, let's do this okay we are back on that Evo Pro R car uh, we didn't do the header swap yet because the clutching was really bad so how the car came in that's where we're at with just some clutching and now we are gonna let it cool off and swap the header see if we pick up some more or no, but I'll uh, we'll show you. You did the hot tool on that thing or what? Wrong way, nerd. get the header off it's 1155 so we're less than an hour in between runs let me pull up some run data okay so the baseline run it was 90 degrees in here 90 and a half that blue line with the clutching resolved it was 102 so I mean picked up power even with 12 degrees more heat 
kind of tells you something there. I think currently it is. <laughs> currently it is 106 in here. So if this thing picks up power with the stock header and temperature that's higher, that answers our questions. I'll find out. Okay, so the stock header maybe makes a little bit more torque on the hit down low. It is also four degrees warmer in here right now. Other than that, they are pretty much identical. So, takes out for what you will and what you want to spend your money on, I guess. But this is pretty much where we're going to leave off at. How the car came in. And where we're at now, there's a 12 degree difference between these runs, but there are spots in here that are almost 20 wheel horsepower right there. Same thing up top. On to the next one.